Hi everyone, happy Monday, Corona Monday, how are you? Coming to you live today, I got up today, I was grateful. Um, it's a very gloomy day here in Southern California, very gloomy. It is cold and rainy and cloudy, but I decided to get up and put some makeup on the day instead of sitting around in my PJs and um, embrace the day. And since it's a cold and rainy day, I wanted to make one of my favorite things um, that I love. Oh, I love this. I am making um, homemade chicken soup, my Graham's recipe, and I'll share that with you later. But right now, I wanted to show you how to make matzo balls. Um, matzo balls are one of my favorite things to add to soup and they're very, very easy to make, but there's also some tricks to them. Uh, so you can, tricks to make them light and fluffy. You don't want a heavy matzo ball. So I'm gonna just quick go through it. I'm gonna show you how easy it is, but to tell you what we need, we need a fork. You need four eggs. Um, I cracked the eggs. I already checked to make sure there's uh, no impurities in them. Uh, four eggs. I have one cup of matzo meal, okay? I have a little bit of kosher salt, some black pepper, simple ingredients, and uh, two little tricks up my sleeve, um, which is seltzer water. I know a lot of you do know this, but some don't. Uh, seltzer water instead of regular water, because that's what's gonna make the matzo balls light and fluffy. And my extra little yummy yummy that I like to add is dill. I like to put it into the matzo. Okay, so I'm also gonna add some fresh parsley today too because I like greens and I just think it gives it such a delicious, fluffy taste. Um, I'm actually gonna go quick grab my oil, one moment. And um, a third cup of oil is what you're going to need as well. Some people could actually use uh, chicken fat from their chicken soup. Um, you can use vegetable oil. Um, I'm not sure what other oil that you would use. If you know, share with me. Um, that's just the oil that I've used. But we're gonna start. Okay, so we cracked the four eggs. Now the trick of making this is that we wanna whisk with a fork and we don't wanna whisk with a whisk, okay? These are just some old tricks I've learned from some old Jewish friends from back in New Jersey days when I was younger. And um, they shared recipes with me, shared a lot of little tricks in making this. And you know, it's a hit or miss. They could get heavy and you don't want them heavy. Okay, so we want to whisk that really nice. We're working four eggs. What do we have here? Hi, Cindy. Who else? Hi, Georgia. How are you? Okay, so we're whisking our four eggs with a fork. And again, there's a reason. They always told me don't use the whisk, use the fork. Okay. So I have those eggs whisked very nice. The next thing I'm going to add, and this is where they always say the secret comes in, is seltzer water. Seltzer is going to uh, give the matzo balls that light, fluffy, airy consistency that you're going to want, okay? So I know I need a half a cup of seltzer. So I have some Canada Dry. I always wash the can. I have also the plastic ones, but um, this is good, keeps it nice and fresh. I get it from a can, perfect. More seltzer, more uh, fluff, the better. So we have half a cup of seltzer, and remember you want to use a liquid measure. Don't use a dry. Okay, half a cup. Simple, simple, simple. You guys are gonna love this. And I just wanna whisk that in. Now I'm gonna do this in two parts, okay? First, we're gonna make the matzah and then it has to go into the refrigerator and then in an hour, I'm gonna show you how to form those perfect little matzah balls and you're just gonna drop them into very hot water, let them rest and they are gonna be perfect to go into any soup that you wanna make. Today, I'm making my grandmother's homemade chicken soup, which is absolutely delicious. Oh, I got a lot of nice bubbles here. Beautiful, beautiful, okay? And we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna put those matzahs in the soup after the soup is done. It's gonna be so good. Alrighty, so next on the list is, we want to add our, hmm, our third cup of olive, our third cup of vegetable oil. 
sorry, I'm reading off of my old recipes. I don't remember everything exactly. So again, we're doing a third cup at eye level. Some people would do two tablespoons. Um, I'm doing a third cup, again, with the uh, half a cup of seltzer. So I'm gonna mix this in here, just slightly. Okay, I'm gonna add one cup of the matzo meal. I'm gonna mix that in lightly. Do you know what I wanna do before I add that all in? Because I don't want it to get too thick right away. I'm gonna add my secret ingredient, which is, again, well, my second secret ingredient, which is the fresh dill, okay? I love fresh dill. It just, it just takes it up a notch. You don't have to add it in, but you can if you want. And I'm also gonna add some fresh parsley, because I love fresh parsley. That's the Syrian in me. We like add parsley to everything. So I love parsley. So parsley and dill is my favorite thing, and I like to get little bits and bites of it when I'm eating my matzo ball. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw this in there, just like that. And I'm gonna continue to mix this in. And you don't want to over mix, you just want to get it right. Add a pinch of kosher salt. Remember when you're using your kosher salt, it's not like regular salt. Those grains are big, okay? And uh, you don't want it too salty, so be careful when you're adding. And this is getting a really nice consistency. And this is going to be beautiful. Add a little black pepper. And that's it. That's it for your recipe. So we're gonna mix this real nice, and again, we don't wanna over mix, but we want it nice and light and fluffy. You know, they say don't over mix, why? Because we have seltzer in here, and I believe that you're just like killing the bubbles. So that seltzer is gonna give it that light and airy and fluffy consistency that we want, okay? So that's about it, man. We got it. We got our matzo balls, and this is gonna go into the refrigerator. I'm gonna wrap this up very, very nicely. And they're gonna be so yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy.